So for this evening, as I share to you the message, <coughs> Alone and Anxious. Mani ang title sa tuang mensahe karon Alone and Anxious. So uh, last year's Youth Fellowship, uh, I think na mga mga yung people na to, naka-join na tong kan, uh, online nga Youth Fellowship, uh, we, we had a short question and answer night time. Uh, uh, the, the lecturer will entertain questions and uh, he will give an answer. Gikan sa pulong sa ginawa. And uh, uh, that, that topic was about uh, depression. I think mona ang topic that time. And someone asked, someone asked, do Christians get depressed? Pwede ba nga ang mga Kristohanon will go through depression? So, uh, nagbasa ko sa mga, mga replies, mga answers, kaya naaraman dito sa, sa comment section, pwede sila kabasa. And some said that, uh, no, because we are Christians. We are Christians. We have God on our side. Na anak kita ginoo. Then, uh, you will not experience depression. You will not experience those kind of, of troubles in your life. And if you ever get depressed, then you are not a real Christian. So, muna ikaw, nai-answer dito nga, nag-conyod sa kuwa, nag, uh, murag na hinumduman ako ba? But, uh, I like the lecturer's answer to that question, using the story of, of Elijah as a reference. So, uh, for tonight, uh, for this evening, uh, uh, later on, we will find out sa ato ang message, alone and anxious, based on uh, 1 Kings chapter 19. So, kung namo yung mga Bible dira, uh, try to open it on 1 Kings chapter 19. So, there are many people with deep faith, strong faith, at nasa ilaha, nga ilahang pagdako, ilahang pagsalig sa ginoo, but they still struggled with depression. And some of them were well-known mga Christians. Si uh, Charles Spurgeon, naka-experience siya depression. Si Hang Kinabuhi, although he, uh, he was a very influential person, Christian, a preacher, very powerful preacher. Pero he experienced depression, si Hang Kinabuhi. He, and even Abraham Lincoln, he experienced depression. And uh, the causes of this, of this depression is maybe the death of a loved one. Diba? Maybe the death of a loved one, yung grabe pinalangga ni mo, imuhang ginikanan, imuhang igsoon imuhang asawa maybe, then you will experience that depression. Or another a cause is that the loss of a job. What ang kagtrabaho? Or uh, makik out ka sa imuhang trabaho, ma-fire ka sa imuhang trabaho. Or maybe ang inyong company nag-experience sa kalisod, then uh, it was decided nga undango na lang. Or maybe a business. So, the loss of a job can cause depression or maybe financial hardships financial hardships uh, imuhang marriage life or maybe divorce and this uh, kininga area I have a friend nga diri grabe gini ang struggle depressed depressed yung kaya siya magsure suri yami pero pagkataod taod mukalit lang na siya tanga nga murag wala siya kadungog or murag wala siya ikistorya and uh, he was a pastor Pastor siya sa Osaka uh, Simbahan, nga, dako nga simbahan Known nga simbahan, pero uh, He experienced Na, na nagka problema ang iyang marriage life Gi, uh, Biyaan siya Sa iyang uh, asawa niya So uh, They are not we, we are not exempted to this kind of, of Issues in life Maybe another reason for your depression Is imuhang mga anak Is very disobedient and as a parent, gusto nimo nga magtarong sila, magtubo sila nga naikahadlok sa ginoo, but ilang mga action is opposite sa imuhang ginahandom para nila. Disobedient children, uh, maybe burn out sa imuhang trabaho. So, oftentimes, Christians are considered exempted. Exempted, di ba? Tungkol kay Kristohanon, gina, gina, they, they, others think that we are exempted from maybe anger. We are exempted from anxiety. We are exempted from trauma, depression. But uh, as we study 
the word of God in 1 Kings 19, there is the, 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 the reference, the story of Elijah when he experienced depression. And uh, later on, atong tanawon on sa mga reasons sad, sa iyahang depression. And yes, we get weary, we get tired, we get overwhelmed, and we feel drained. And yes, we believe that prayer changes things. We believe that God is a healer and the Lord works miracles. So here in our story, a great man of God running for his life. He was so exhausted. He was depressed. And gusto niya nga, mamatay lang siya. He asked God to take his life. For I am no better than my father's. Mone yang words nga mention niya dere. And uh, this is what happened to Elijah. Because the highlights of Elijah's ministries were so good. Maayo kayo ang starting sa ayahang ministry. It was the time when he told King Ahab that there will be drought. <clears throat> there will be no rain. But God preserved Elijah by using the ravens to give food and the cherith brook para ayahang mainom. Then God used do? another nagigamit sa ginoo ang widow. God used the widow to provide his needs. And after the, 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 the drought ends, Elijah meets King Ahab once again. Nakita na sad sila ni King Ahab together with his pseudo prophets. Ni King Ahab, kani mga pseudo prophets, mga false prophets. They worship Baal, they believe nga si Baal ang ilang ginoo, which is only a statue. Statwa lang. And at Mount Carmel, the pseudo prophets were there together with King Ahab to prove who the true and living God is. Naasla dito, gichallenge na sila ay Kung kinsa yun ang tinuon niya ginoo, kinsa yun ang ginatuohan nila, nga maoy maghatag ang deliverance sila ha. And Elijah was so confident and bold enough to compete to face King Ahab. Kaya tungod, nako siya pagtuo nga, ang ginoo will prove, God will show his power nga siya ang tinuod o buhi nga Diyos. And so, uh, Elijah was, was so bold, he was so certain that God will show his power to Ahab, to the prophets, and to the people. Because that's one of, of Elijah's desire. Nga ang, ang mga tao magbalik sa ilahang first love. Will return to their first love. Amao ang ginoo. But after that event, Elijah expects. Kay na, na prove mangyud sa ginoo. Diba? Kung nakuan niyo ng story, pakita mangyud sa ginoo ang iyang gahom. Nga siya ang tinood. Ang mga prophets, kapila pa to sila nag sige gihimog mga rituals nila. Tanan, gihimo na nila para lang para lang mapakita ang gahom sila ang ginoo pero wala gyud gahom ni gawas. But when Elijah uh, showed or oh Elijah <coughs> nagtuo siya sa ginoo nga uh, he will show his power and he expected that King Ahab and Queen Jezebel will repent. Pinaagi ato nga event expected nga sila mag magbalik sa Ginoo, magtuo sa Ginoo, biyaan ang ilang ginaworship nga uh, false god. But what happened was that nisamot, nisamot ang kalagot ni Queen Jezebel. Si Queen Jezebel gini ang naga naga tutsar sa kay King Ahab. Elijah became miserable after that event. And as I as we read all together in verse 1 Starting in verse 1 of chapter 19, the first Kings. <coughs> so if you, have, if you have your Bibles with you, follow along as I read uh, chapter 19. ang whole chapter. It says here, And they have told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. In verse 2, Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah say, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also. If I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and ran for his life and went to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and, let, and left his servant there. In verse 4, But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he prayed that he might die and said, It is enough. Now, Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my father's. So, muna yung nahitabo sa kay Elijah. Nidagan siya because of, of the death threat ni Queen Jezebel sa Yaha. Since 
uh, si Elijah gipamatay niya to mga prophets, mga false prophets because ang uh, ilahang gituohan nga Ginoo is not real God. That is why uh, the news na abot sa kay Queen Jezebel gikan kang King, King Ahab. So ingon ni Queen Jezebel nga so let the gods do to me, I will kill you the same sa gihimo nimo sa mga prophets nako. Patyon ti ka, patyon ti ka mo giniihanggi gi gi padala nga message kay Elijah then when when Elijah saw that he arose and ran for his life he arose and uh, ran for his life so in this story let, let us learn how God encouraged Elijah the discouraged Elijah the depressed Elijah <clears throat> when Elijah was so miserable si hangi nabuhi so let us see first the three difficult situations of Elijah first here makita nato that uh, this this man of God Iyang situation there he was clouded with fear. He was so clouded with fear. Kay tungod, he was afraid nga mamatay siya or patyon siya ni Queen Jezebel. Pero in the next verse, sa katong nagnidaga na siya sa ihang kuan, sa gikan sa death threat ni Queen Jezebel, nihangyo siya sa Ginoo nga, Lord, patyon na lang ko or kuhaan na lang ko. Di ba? He is a man of God clouded with fear and there are many things that cause us to 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 fear there are people who are uh, afraid of dogs afraid of darkness afraid of heights afraid of of pains or fear of rejection a lot of of fear and here Elijah a great man of God was so afraid of the wicked queen Jezebel Elijah was afraid siya. so Remember that event when <clears throat> Elijah faced uh, King Ahab to compete. He was so bold. He was so courageous to, to, to prove that the God he believes is true. That the God he believes is, is powerful. But after that event, see Jezebel was furious and she reacts with vengeance and threatens Elijah's life. So... Mao kini ang reason nganong nidagan si Elijah. And this started the depression of Elijah, the struggle of Elijah, the discouragement of Elijah. So Queen Jezebel's message was in the form of of a compulsory, a strong curse nga kanang gusto jud niya patyon si Elijah rather than uh, leading Jezebel to repentance. So that event triggered Queen Jezebel to be angry to be to, to desire for revenge and she was a wicked a woman so elijah responded differently unlike sa previous events but here he was afraid he ran for his life and uh, if tanahon ninyo ang ang distance sa birsheba he, he, elijah traveled birsheba about 100 miles 100 miles ang yahang travel ani without uh, eating, running away from troubles, clouded with fear. And for him, it was the safest place para sa kay, uh, para sa kay Elijah. And on sa iyang gitaguan, he came and sat down under a broom tree or a juniper tree. So kining juniper tree, tag, uh, nani siya mga gamay lang ni siya nga, di kayo siya dako ang kahoy, ang iyang mga leaves, mga dahon ani niya, gagmay. And it was not enough nga dili siya pwede nga ka nang pwede ka dira mag maglingkod-lingkod or pwede ka mag pasilong no dili siya enough nga maghatag og shade sa usa ka tao but for Elijah he think nga mo he thinks nga mo ni ang safest place para sa iya so that uh, he will be free from the the threat of Queen Jezebel and so Elijah's action is totally out of of character but it serves to remind us again of our vulnerability everyone's vulnerability that we are still subject sa ingani nga mga mga issues sa atong kinabuhi mental health maybe he was afraid and servants of god are humans even mga pastors mga tigulang na mga pastors dugay na sa ministries fear is part of human nature and sometimes 
Many times, yun, di ba? We experience that fear. Of course, ikaw daw, yung nun sultian, patagaan, kagletter, di ba? Nga patsyon ka. Tomorrow, ugma da yun. Di ba kamahad look, di ba? So, if prophets like Elijah feared, anyone should not be ashamed of this. Anyone should not be ashamed of this, that uh, we will also experience fear sa tong kinabuhi. But remember that the word of God will always set us free. Later, tanawa na to on sa ang, ang, ang restoration ni uh, Elijah. Now, the second situation here is that he was just not, not clouded with fear, but he was also troubled by failure. Troubled just siya ang mga kapalpakan. He thinks nga, nga ang iya mga gihimo at tong pag-show niya, pag-prove niya nga ang ginoo is, is powerful and true and living God. Para niya gigi absorb niya as a failure ba? Fail sa iya nga part. He probably felt like a, a failure since kato, ang mga great events at Mount Carmel did nothing or wala na wala ka to nag sa king and queen to return to the Lord. Since that is his desire, that is his purpose, na ipakita ang gahum sa ginoo para mubalik ang mga tao sa ginoo. To return to their first love, to return to God, to worship the true and living God and not, not the statue. He thought that the people will reject Baal and return to God, but the people did not. And King Ahab and Queen Jezebel was more furious na doon nahitabo. And I don't know what Elijah was really expecting. But with the power of God so clearly manifested, perhaps Elijah thought that there would be some changes in Ahab, some positive response sa kay Ahab and Queen Jezebel. And that uh, caused him to uh, think that he is a failure. Na wala yun yung hapon na nagrepent sila sa ilahang gituhan. And maybe this is the same or you have experienced the same kind of situation nga um, nag-pray ka ngay mohang husband, mohang anak magmatinumanon sa gino pero pila na lang, pila na katuig, wala mag hapon. It seems like God is not answering your prayers. It seems like God is silent sa imuhang mga pagampu. But remember, you are not a failure. You are not a failure. God has His own timetable to deal that person you are uh, praying for. God has His own timetable yun sa mga niana. So, Elijah, he was expecting something different, something more positive. He was looking for a real repentance of King Ahab. From his success on Mount Carmel, he assumed a complete success. And this did not happen. That is why he thinks nga failure gihapon siya sa yahang. He thinks of himself a failure. He thinks he is a loser. Kaya abinyag, wala agyod, wala agyod, wala agyod, wala agyod, abinyag, di na siya mapuslan. And that is why money nag leads siya to, to say, nga, Lord, Take my life. It is enough, Ginoo. Humana ang ako ang mission. Humana ang akong trabaho. It is enough now, O Lord. Wala maghihapon sila nagtuo sa imo ha. Now, take my life. For I am no better than my fathers. This is another uh, reason nga nag, nag-cause sa kay Elijah to be depressed. And dira na mag-start. Ang imuhang ko, ang fail, imuhang, uh, you can see, ang, ang, ang step by step, nga experience ni Elijah to the point nga marag na na siya suicidal thoughts di ba? Oh Lord kuha ka na lang ko wa maghihapon ko ipulos and he, he tried to compare his life sa mga ni Agi nga mga servants sa ginawa I am no better than my fathers mas maayo pa si Moses na ako mas maayo pa si Joshua na ako mas maayo pa sila ang mga ni Agi nga mga alaga ni mo Lord I am no better than them Take my life. And this is what happened sa kay Elijah. Maybe you have the same experience. Na gusto ni mo nga na kay ginalook up nga tao niya. Ingana ay mohang gusto nga ma- mahitabo si mohang kinabuhi. You, you, you want to become that person's uh, maybe character. Gusto ni mo nga 
makuha niya na, ni mo na ang karakter niya ang ihang pagkamatinuman sa ginawa but something happened something uh, nakakonsi mo ha nagkos maybe you think nga you are a failure and this is the danger if we expect too much something good from someone because life is full of disappointments life is full of disappointments and if we are not really careful those expectations will will ruin us as they become demands of our heart it is not wrong for us to hope for the best and to look for the lord dili man maayo dili man sad dautan nga mag maglaom ta but if we expect too much diba nga na gyud usually will cause us to be hurt so another thing he even compared himself no, to his ancestors who were faithful to god he had a low self esteem elijah th- been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant diba na mention niya the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant thrown down thine altars and slain the prophets with the sword and i even i only am left and they seek my life to take it away siya na lang nabilin mga prophets at this time kay tungod Ang sige himo daw sa children of Israel, they have forsaken God's covenant. They have thrown down thine altars. They have slain thy prophets with the sword. And ako na lang ang nabilin nga prophet. And they seek my life to take it away. Di ba? Of course, mahadlog yun si, si Elijah. And he thinks that he was a failure. He was so discouraged. He was so down. He was a loser. And that is uh, the time uh, when a man failed. He thinks of himself no better. Diba? Maabot na sa tong hauna. When we fail, we think uh, we are useless. We are no better when we fail. And have you ever been there in your life? in the shadow of, of despair and defeat when all your expectations were not met, diba? You gave all your strength, you, gave, you, you made a great effort, you, you gave your time, ihatag ni tanan ang imuhang panahon para ni Ana, and yet, no positive result. Maybe you took a board exam, but there's no positive result. You are so discouraged, you are hopeless. You think of yourself a loser or a failure and maybe you came to the point of uh, taking your life suicidal or maybe in your work gihimo na nimong tanan pero maragula iha po epekto wala maayo nga resulta This is what happened to Elijah He was troubled by his failure and failure we can see, we can learn that failure uh, doesn't mean you are a permanent loser. When you fail, it doesn't mean you are a permanent loser. It means that you have some hard lessons to learn. It doesn't mean you should give up. It means that you need the Lord to show you the next step. And it doesn't mean that God has abandoned you. It means that God has a better plan for your life. So do not be troubled by your failures. Do not bring back the past, but learn from it. Do not be afraid to fail. And if you fail, just remember that failure is not final. So one of situations ni ni Elijah. So he was cr- clouded with fear. He was troubled by failure. And lastly here, he was a man of God in great fatigue. In verse 5, as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. So again, if you uh, look at the story, Elijah was so confident. Elijah was uh, so powerful. 
kay tungod ang Ginoo naa sa iya tungod nagatuo siya ang Ginoo is with him but here in chapter 19 Elijah was so tired sa iyang ministry because it seems there's no good result he feels he has done his best for his God for for God and it has been no benefit no positive outcome so he was disappointed sa iyang kinabuhi he was so disappointed sa iyang life and all of us get disappointed like that sometimes kini mga dagkog pangalan even mga government leaders nasla mga disappointments mga pastoral leaders mga officers they are still subject to disappointments even the parents the teenagers they are subject to disappointment and we know people in our church in our homes who are down they are disappointed in life and here we can see how god deals elijah god allowed elijah to express his frustration his exhaustion and a feelings of defeat instead of harshly rebuking him nga Elijah unsa man mo gihimo ay pagdagandagan ay paghadlok-hadlok na amon ko wa kay salig nako but no that is not the, the, res the response of God God did not snub him God was so tender with him by sending an angel to feed him and he allowed Elijah his tired servant to sleep so we have learned a lesson from God nga kung magdeal kita og og maybe depressed person be gentle to him be gracious imo hang mga words imo hang gina gamit you need to be sensitive sa ilahang feelings allow them to express their frustrations so uh, another one here at this point we can see the restoration of Elijah so ganiha we have seen the the situations of Elijah he was clouded with fear troubled by failure and in great fatigue now we can see the restoration of Elijah nagigamit sa Ginoo first is that God provided him rest the provision of sleep mo ni gihatag sa Ginoo sa the provision of sleep again the juniper tree is not uh, uh, a tree nga kanang able to to give shade for a person it has a small leaves and iyang mga branches niya tagas kayo ni nga, nga dili siya mag magtapad-tapad mas spread out ang shade ani so it provided very poor shade or protection from the heat of the sun but for Elijah it seems like mao na ang refuge niya or solutions to his pain and God has ordained sleep and rest as necessary for our survi survival and ability to, to move to do our our responsibilities to do uh, our things so the Lord allowed a time of sleep before he brought on the next phase of his provision for Elijah so many mga provision sa ginoo sa yaha God allowed him to sleep in verse 5 as he lay and slept under a broom tree a suddenly an angel another provision sa Ginoo siya is an angel not just asleep but an angel so here in verse 5 the angel tells us that the angel was touching him awaking him to eat but in verse 7 this angel is identified as as the angel of the lord it says here in verse 7 and the angel of the Lord came back the second time and touched him and said arise and eat because the journey is too great for you so the angel of the Lord is a description uh, it, it was not an ordinary angel it was no ordinary angel nga nagpakita sa kay Elijah it was a theophany or maybe a Christophany nya mao ka to ang nagpakita a manifestation of of the circa, second person in the trinity and who is the second person in the trinity that is Jesus 
Jesus Christ. And this was no less than the Savior who came personally to minister to the prophet. God uh, did not send ravens or widows nga maoy maghatag og provision, pagkaon sa iya, but God sent the pre-incarnate Christ to minister to Elijah, to encourage the discouraged Elijah. And this is the provision of the Lord to Elijah. Another thing, of course, the provision of food. The provision of food. Diba? Gihatag sa ginoo ang cake. And it, it was amazing. Kay ang cake, baked na siya. Diba? The time, ginahalan, lutuon pa na eh. Ang mga ingredients sa ito. Ang mga asa siya mukuha og flour, asa siya mukuha wheat, or asa siya mukuha og kalayo para maglutoan ang cake. Pagkaon niya. But it says here, in verse... Verse 6, then he looked, and there by his head was a cake baked on coals and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. Di ba amazing ang provision sa ginoo? Plaster na daan tanan. Ang himoon ni Elijah, mo inom na lang siya, mukaon lang siya. Di na kinahalan niya, magluto ba siya? Di na kinahalan niya, haguan pa niya para makasurvive siya. But here we can see the provision of God was really amazing. And we can see as well that God uh, so tender, gracious to Elijah. He was 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 so Pero ka nang murag, magluto ba ka? Kapuya na ka? Hago na kayo? And this is, we can see here, God's patience, God's tenderness sa kay Elijah, the provision of food, and as well as the presence of God. Of course, ang presence sa ginoo, naagyod sa kay Elijah. Huwag yun, di pasagdaan sa ginoo. He, yes, he ran away from Jezebel, but Ang ginoo nagsunod yapon sa kay Elijah. We can see here nga gipursugid sa ginoo si Elijah. Ang ginoo nag uh, he was with Elijah and uh, that is in as I read to you Joshua 1 chapter 5 Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 and verse 9 verse 5 it says no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life as I was with Moses so I will be with you I will not leave you nor forsake you and this is the abiding presence of God to Joshua and in verse 9 another here another reference of God's abiding presence have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go and here we can see that God's God's presence will always be there for his servants Kung iya ka sa ginoo, kung tumuluo yun ka sa ginoo, ang presensya sa ginoo, na yun, permi ka nimo. Wherever you go, God is with you. And He will not leave you, nor forsake you. God assured Joshua of His abiding presence. He has been with Moses. He has been with Joshua. And He was with Elijah. And so He will be with us as well. When we experience drought, experience uh, failures, or maybe depression, God is with us. And in the wilderness, Elijah told God, I've had enough, and he was ready to give up. But God didn't push him forward. God let Elijah to sleep 
God let Elijah sleep, eat, sleep again, and eat again. So, uh, sometimes what you need most when you are afraid, when you are discouraged, or kapoy jigayo ka, is just to rest and refuel. You need to rest, you need to refuel, because God created your body, and He knows what it needs. And uh, this is what I've experienced. Gahapon, okay? Uh, nagbiyahe man ko from uh, southern part sa Mindanao. Pinakaubos yun sa Mindanao. To the uh, northern part sa Mindanao, Cagayan. So, ako nagi motor for uh, almost 5 hours or almost 6 hours, I think. So, kapoy yun kayo, okay? Uh, para na ko, I think kaya lang kay tungod sa akong edad ana. Of course, na nagito pa mo na kaya lang pero gisingil ko sa lawas gahapon. So um, I thought nga kaya ra kayo. Tibok adlaw yugo nagkuan natulog yugo gahapon. So mga I think mga alas 10 na ako sa gabi na kamata. Ay uh, nakamata mo ko pero putol-putol pero mang na nga kanang uh, our body requires rest. Dili ta magunahon nga kanang kaya na ato tanan especially sa inyong trabaho. Uh, para nimo kaya na ako ni tanan. So, our body needs rest because uh, God created us. Napamanta sa atong kan. We, we, we don't have this glorious body pa. Napakita sa atong ang uh, body nga, nga resulta sa, sa, la, sa fall. So, sometimes we need to rest and refuel with God's word. So pray that God would reveal what you need and provide for your uh, physical needs. So we find that we find here that Elijah was so fearful, was running, scared, exhausted and depressed and wanting to die. Maniha situation diri, but God restored him. God restored him with a still small voice. God restored Elijah through his word. God encouraged Elijah through his word in in verse 11 then God said go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord and behold the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind an earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. So it was when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. And suddenly a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? In verse 14, and he said, I have been very zealous for the Lord God of hosts because the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and killed your prophets with a sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. And in verse 15, sogo sa ginoo, another journey sakay Elijah, gikan sa ginoo. And this is the time where uh, Elijah was restored because of God's still small voice because of God's word and this reminds us that when uh, we feel discouraged we feel so powerless we feel depressed nakanang feeling na to wana yun na to makaya hopeless then let us go back to the, the word of God let us read our Bible let us go back to the promises sa ginoo ka nato. Because this will give us comfort. This will comfort our hearts. This will give us peace. This will give us assurance of His love. So if you have fears right now, if you think you are a failure and you are tired, si mohang servisyo sa ginoo, burned out na ka, go back to the Word of God. Just be still and listen to the gentle voice of God because na a prescription for discouragement and depression. 
God restored Elijah with his words, with his still small voice. So when we feel discouraged, anxious, depressed, and you feel like giving up, go back to the Word of God. Balik yun kita gihapon sa pulong sa ginoo. Kay mo kini ato ang dire makita ang ato ang assurance sa mga promise sa ginoo. Read your Bible. Pray because God is with you as you face your problems. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the assurance from your word. Thank you, Lord, for the reminder that uh, we are human and we are subject to uh, struggles, troubles in life, failures, fatigue, fears. And this, that, that is what happened to your servant Elijah. And I pray that this will be a reminder. This will serve as a reminder to all of us who are here today listening to your word. That whenever we, we face these troubles in life, help us to go back to your word. Help us, Lord, to uh, listen to your still small voice. So, Father, bless your word in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.